I'm Matt Mulcahy, new at 11 and armed standoff at a Cleveland college. At least two people shot, one dead. Tonight on 5 on your side at 11. Coming up next on 5 on your side at 11. An Ohio University is in lockdown after a gunman opened fire shooting at least two people. An escaped prisoner points a gun at her own child in a standoff with police. And he saw it on MTV and he thought he'd try it himself. We'll tell you what happened to this Florida team. I'm at Mulcahy. I'm Maureen Green. These stories and more next. WTBH5, Syracuse. And now, live from the first television station in central New York, this is 5 on your side at 11. Good evening. Finals week ends in a blaze of gunfire at Case Western Reserve in Cleveland with a gunman blasting into the college building, forcing those inside to run for cover. So far, at least one person is dead, several wounded. David Browley reports. break in the hostage situation at a business school in Cleveland just hours after it began. SWAT teams started rescuing gunshot victims and hostages, but with the fate of the gunman still unknown, the situation remained tense. We are rescuing the people that are in the building and doing a room-by-room, floor-by-floor search. The suspect, reportedly wearing a camouflage top, stormed into the distinctive building at Case Western Reserve University about four in the afternoon. He kept pounding and finally he broke through. He cleared the whole um, doorway of all the glass, jumped through, and at that point, um, we turned around. Witnesses say the suspect was firing a shotgun indiscriminately. Gunfire could be heard throughout the building for the next couple of hours. Some hostages called CBS affiliate WOIO to report they were okay, the at least for the moment. Um, I gotta go. We just had another gunshot. As SWAT teams, emergency vehicles, the FBI, and local police surrounded the building, officials Obviously implored the gunman up. to surrender peacefully. Officials communicated secretly with hostages hiding inside, trying to determine his location. Police say the ordeal is far from over. The building is five stories high. It will take time to complete a final search. Dave Browdy, CBS News, New York. A 20-year-old handyman is accused of raping two young girls in Oswego County. And what's particularly appalling is that it happened in the home in which he was a guest. Dan Gaffney allegedly befriended the family and moved in to work as a handyman. He admitted to having sex with a 12-year-old daughter and her 13-year-old...